do it. <gasps> this is a happy moment. Aww. Oh my god, he was so happy. Wait in the council chambers until we return. This is frustrating, and I can tell it's very core because. Oh my god, don't do it! Oh sh! Hey, it's Nax, and welcome back to my channel. This is it, you guys. The long wait is finally over. I'm sorry it took a while. It's because of all the copyright, but we survive, we thrive, and now we're here. It's been a long time since I reacted to episode three, and I was able to actually watch Clone Wars. Uh, during the time that has passed and I'm actually like a hundred episodes in in Clone Wars I'm watching it in chronological order because how else would I watch it and I just want to say I just am developing so many so much more opinion and so much more thoughts on the entire lore entire franchise entire universe of Star Wars and eh, universe but and it's just you know we still have so much more stories to hear like right now we have andor which i'm also reacting to by the way on my patreon and we'll have tales of the jedi we'll have ahsoka like gaga honestly for me to say that i am i love it for me to say i love star wars is really an understatement i'm completely fascinated with it i started reading again because i'm reading i'm actually reading the books novels related to star wars i'm not kidding it's amazing uh but yeah i mean i digress <laughs> why you do that really you want to watch star wars oh okay yeah oh, oh na nga. <laughs> i'm movie time three Two, one. I'm getting, I'm getting assaulted by my dog. Stop it! Star Wars time. Hoi, hoi, hoi! Quiet! Quiet! Time ago in a galaxy. Oh, oh shit! I need to lose my concentration. Stay. Oh, Chancellor Palpatine got kidnapped. Leader of the Galactic Senate. As a sexual part. I'm betting. Five dollars at the two Jedi Knights as Obi Wan and Anakin. Who else could it be? That looks badass. That shit. Ah, dude. I love how you're very immersed with the driving, even though technically you're not in the driver's seat. Wow! Hey, it's Anakin. R2-D2. Lock on to him, R2. Master. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is going to be easy. Obi-Wan, always with the sarcasm. We're on your tail, General Kenobi. The clones. This is where the fun begins. Huh. Let the pass between us. Yo. I'm gonna go help them out. No, no, they are doing their job. Then we can do ours. Anakin still has that heart that he really wants to help anyone in need out, but sometimes that can kind of. You know, like, I mean, him and Obi-Wan still don't see eye to eye because Obi-Wan's really more about the mission. But at least he's following they Obi-Wan us. They're coming around. <laughs> we got Let's him try too. spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> Yo, they look like wasps. Yo, Gaku! Oh dear. Hold your fire, you're not helping here! Huh. I agree. 
Bad idea. <laughs> I agree. Bad idea. I feel like that's probably the first time I've seen them really agree on something. Yeah, Go R2! R2 is a tough cookie. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this! The Bad Feelings Club. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool how he just jumped out of his ship. Oh, look at them fight with their lightsabers! I sense Count Dooku. I sense a trap. Next move? It's a trap. The trap. Oh, this is General Grievous. Do the destroyers look better and better each episode? Dude, they were no match for two Jedi's. Come on. Those are Jedi fighters, all right. <laughs> No, R2's alone. No. What that? R2, do you copy? <laughs> I love how R2 tried to hide and then he how he hit his walkie-talkie. You like Star Wars? <sighs> Always on the move. Hey, you. Oh, they they have the same voice as the other battle droids. I thought it would be deeper. Dude, I love how Anakin is like saying, "Don't insult my R2." Let's go, R2. He, you know, R2 can handle himself. I feel like if he wanted to, he can actually save the galaxy at this point. Why is he just sitting there? Oh, he's handcuffed. Ooh, here we go. This time we will do it together. I was about to say that. Nice. Teamwork makes the dream work. Get help, Let's young go. man. He's a Sith Lord. Sith Lords are our speciality. <laughs> Your swords, please. We don't want to make a mess of things in front of the Chancellor. I've been looking forward to this. Super fighting choreography, I love it. Met count. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! I think he choked uh over right there. Yo, Anakin! Dude! You can totally see how he's improved. Oh, shucks! And they were both! Good, Anakin, good! Kill him. How could Kill he say that? Now. Smiling, dude, that's so creepy. I shouldn't. Oh, shucks, you even saw the head roll! No, Anakin! He hesitated too! I shouldn't have done that, it's not the Jedi way. It is only natural. He cut off your arm, and you wanted revenge. It wasn't the first time, though. Remember what you told me about your mother? And the sand people. Mm -mm. Now we must leave before more security droids arrive. There's no time. We must get. No, off. hush. We have to save Obi Wan. He seems to be all right. Leave him, or we'll never make it. His fate will be the same as ours. Dude, you know what? You can see how he was already kind of telling Anakin to do uh, um, bad stuff. Like for by leaving Obi Wan, he's trying to already tempt him to do uh, over to the dark side. But also, 
that one scene uh, where he said to kill Count Dooku, I felt so bad for Count Dooku. Like, you could see uh, how scared he was and how shocked he was that his own master was telling Anakin to kill him. He did not hesitate. He also did this before in the original trilogy when um, Luke Skywalker had an advantage to kill Darth Vader. As long as there's someone stronger, that's what he wants. That's what Emperor Palpatine wants. I love how Anakin's just carrying Obi Wan his shoulder. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, for a second, I thought they were gonna use the Force to fly. Find something in the hangar bay that's still flyable. See? No problem. Oh my god. <laughs> R2 is such a character. I love him. And You're welcome. Anakin Skywalker. I was expecting someone with your reputation to be a little older. You're shorter than I expected. <laughs> R2. Oh, R2 going off. Crush them. Get him, get him. <laughs> oh. Still alive. The ability to pilot this thing is irrelevant. Strap yourselves in. Open all hatches, extend all flaps and drag fins. Dude, Anakin's such a good pilot. I mean, we already saw glimpses of how good he is from episode one um, as a driver, but even in Clone Wars, because I've seen a couple of episodes of Clone Wars, he is very good as a pilot. We lost something. Beeps, uh -oh. Not to worry, we are still flying half a ship. Another happy landing. <laughs> Another happy landing. Dude, I love how we saw just how much Anakin has matured. I mean, yes, he still beheaded Count Dooku, but we saw that he hesitated. I didn't like how Emperor Palpatine used um, his past, though, with the revenge on the Tusken Raiders. Train, Anakin. Let's be fair. Today, you are the hero, and you deserve your glorious day with the politicians. Wow. Um, you owe me one, and not for saving your skin for the tenth time. Ninth. That business on Cato Nemoidia doesn't doesn't count. I'll see you at the briefing. <laughs> so we see we see that um, Anakin does save Obi Wan a lot. Well, I will do everything I can to be safe. Excuse me, sir. Oh, Senator Organa! <laughs> wow. Wait, so they're not a secret because they're kissing in public? I've missed you, Padme. Why are you guys ha hugging in public though? You're trembling. Something wonderful has happened. <gasps> Annie. Oh, that's one. That's wonderful. Did he get scared there? All right. This is a happy moment. Aww. The happiest moment of my life. Oh my God! He was so happy. Kind of sweet. I think he was scared. I mean, I think him being scared is the typical I'm gonna be a father scared, but nothing deeper than that. But maybe also he's thinking, how is he gonna hide this from everyone? But we also saw from we also saw from that exchange that Anakin doesn't seem to care anymore. Like he doesn't he just wants to be out and Pan the one who's more scared about people finding out. I feel like he has an inhaler 24-7. Oh, here we go, Lord Tidious. Ah! Oh, she's already showing? That was quick. Men are the perfect spot. Right by the guardians. Wow. 
She's so beautiful. You're so oh. beautiful. Jinx. It's only because I'm so in love. Um. No. <laughs> no, it's because I'm so in love with you. Fast forward. <laughs> blinded you. So love has blinded you. Ah. Well, that's not exactly what I meant. He got you there. She got you there, that's Annie. Probably true. Oh my God. He's having nightmares. <gasps> Remember in episode two when he was having nightmares about his mom and now he's having nightmares about Padme. <sighs> it's cause Jedi can see the future. And Anakin doesn't like what he sees. Oh my gosh. Nothing. It was only a dream. You have to be honest with her, pa uh, Anakin. I doubt the Queen will continue to allow me to serve in the Senate. And if the Council discovers you're the father, you'll be expelled. I know, I know. I mean, you guys are sleeping in the same place. They're sleeping in the same place. Has no one noticed this, though? Like, or, you know, reported it? That's kind of like what I want to ask right now. But I love how Anakin is so happy that he's going to have a baby. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Dude, that's actually really applicable in real life. Quotable quotes by Master Yoda, as always. If the council elects its own members, they'll never accept this. I think they will. They need you. Oh my god. More than you know. Oh my god. Emperor Palpatine doing the 10%. The council doesn't like it when he interferes in Jedi affairs. Mm. I didn't ask to be put on the council, but it's what you wanted. Your friendship with Chancellor Palpatine seems to have paid off. It has nothing to do with this. Yeah, that can the look bad. The only reason the council has approved your appointment is because the chancellor trusts you. The council wants you to report on all the chancellor's dealings. They want to know what he's up to. They're turning him into a, a double spy. Why didn't the, the chancellor knew this was going to happen? Session? Our allegiance is to the Senate, not to its leader, who has managed to stay in office long after his term has expired. The Senate demanded that he stay longer. Yes, but use your feelings, Anakin. Something is out of place. Why are you asking this of me? Council is asking you. He will not let me down. He never has. Aww. I hope right you are. Dude, Obi Wan. Yeah, Anakin has a special place in Obi Wan's heart. No politics, no plotting, no war. Padme seems to be so in love with Anakin now, and Anakin is just like, he's got a lot on his mind. What with all the politics and all of the spying that he has to do, and he doesn't even know who to trust at this point. Sit down. Leave us. <laughs> Leave us. He's planting the seeds of doubt. They asked you to do something that made you feel dishonest, didn't they? <sighs> they asked you to spy on me, didn't they? He knew! I don't, uh... I don't know what to say. Remember back to your early teachings. The Jedi are selfless. They only care about others. Come on, Anakin, stand your ground. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the White? Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. 
You know, a lot of you guys have been commenting on that in my previous videos, and now I know where it's from. <sighs> well, not commenting on it, but repeating the words. Oh, look at all the wookies! Tarzan yell! Comparing it to episode two, even. Concentrated on the small continent here. Save your energy. <sighs> Don't give up, Padme. <sighs> oh, he had another dream, and Obi Wan was in it. Unless you brought it with you. With your kind permission, I should like some fuel. And to use your city as a base as I search nearby systems for General Grievous. That's probably making them so nervous right now. Is he bringing additional warriors? He didn't say. Oh, that was a trap! It was a trap! He probably is trying to Uno reverse him or something. Wow. Dude, that looks like a Final Fantasy creature. Hello there. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> oh wow. God, Master Windu sensed it! He sensed it! How do you know the ways of the Force? My mentor taught me everything no! about the Force. Even the nature of the dark side. He's probably the apprentice you know the he was side. talking about. Learn to know the dark side of the Force, and you will be able to save your wife from certain death. What did you say? Use my knowledge. I beg no! You're the Sith Lord. Nice! And again, was able to. Troubling you. Listen to me. Don't continue to be a pawn of the Jedi Council. You have great wisdom, Anakin. Know the power of the dark side. Power saved. <laughs> he kicked him and he was a droid! It's gotta hurt! I felt that. <gasps> nice! Bullseye. 
That's it! He's dead! It's done! Nice. So uncivilized. So uncivilized. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. Ooh, he told a Master Gwyneth. Yes, the one we've been looking for. Wait in the council chambers until we return. Yes, Master. I bet this is frustrating Anakin to his very core because even if he's not a master, they're not even taking him seriously even though he wants to help. Like, it can't be good. Can't be good. Do you know this? If the Jedi destroy me, any chance of saving her will be lost. <sighs> No, oh my gosh, he's using that against Anakin. He's using Padme against Anakin. What will you do to save the person you love? I like how they're both looking at their direction at the same time, almost as if they're actual soulmates. <gasps> oh, Anakin's so heartbroken. The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. Ah! <gasps> he just popped that out. <laughs> Yo, that snarled! Oh shit! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oh, that's so freaking epic! Uh. Oh, shucks! The oppression of the Sith will never return. You have lost. No, you have got oh, shucks! Don't, don't. I am going to end this once and for all. He must live. Please, don't, don't. No! Yo! Holy shit! Master Windu! What have I done? Oh, Anakin, what have you done? myself to your teachings Jesus you shall be known as Darth Vader oh my god rise rise oh my god let's pause that I feel like I have to pause that Good break. Time out. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I had to pause because I had to get this off my chest before we continue watching because I feel like it's just gonna get intense from here on out. But I fin we finally see how Anakin became Darth Vader and I did not expect it to be like that at all. So starting from with Master Windu confronting Chancellor Palpatine, can I just say, I'm sorry, but the three Jedis that he brought with him were so use this uh, it's either that or chancellor palpatine is just an amazing sith lord okay because they barely even got into any form of fighting 
sequence with Chancellor Palpatine. But going back to Master Windu, I actually, you know, it's really amazing to me how Anakin didn't just uh, strike Master Windu because that was what I was expecting. Instead, he was like, he needs to be alive, he needs to be tested, or he needs to be tested, he needs to be, he needs to go through through trial and i was like i already we all we we know that it's because he wanted to learn the dark side so he was just using that as an excuse but still for him to just use that for his, for his logic to be that way first that he has to go through trial and that uh it's not the jedi way to strike him while he's unarmed which they also mentioned at the very start of the movie with count dooku because he was unarmed and then he had to kill him it was just kind of Whoa, like we saw that he basically had to cut off Master Windu's arm sort of like as a last resort, but he didn't want to do that. And even after he did that, he was in disbelief that he did that. Like, what have I done? That was literally the first thing that he said, that he couldn't believe he did that. He knows that this is there's no turning back from it. And, you know, Chancellor Palpatine, just being the guy that he is, he's... I love him, but he's an asshole. Like he literally planted the seeds of doubt. Like he knew he had he has Anakin at the palm of his hands now. But the biggest, the biggest um bamboozle moment for me has got to be when he said that he doesn't even know how to bring how to stop someone. Like that that they're gonna learn this together. Because with the two of them, they'll be able to learn it. But ultimately, he essentially admitted that he doesn't know how to do that. So it's kind of like the biggest, what? You don't even know how to do that? Like, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's annoying for me. Like, I'm very annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Like, uh, that's so sneaky, sneaky, Chancellor. Sneaky, sneaky. But okay, now we're going to keep watching. We know it's just going to get it's from bad to worse from worse to worse here on out so let's just let's go let's watch this thank you my master my master rise 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 oh you would have you would have um sensed it since a uh, disturbance in the force. Wipe out Viceroy Gamre and the other Separatist leaders. Oh my god. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. <gasps> he has the store the clones with him? Yo! Oh my god! This is breaking my heart! Commander Cody, the time has come. Execute order. Oh Justice. my god! Yes, my lord. <laughs> So that was how it started. Ooh, that was ruthless. Go, Master Yoda. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Yo, that was so. Oh my God! And he's supposed to be a father. And so it is. Senator Ghana. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, shocks. Goodbye, 
Chaffer. Goodbye, Chewbacca. <gasps> Chewbacca! Oh my god, it's Chewbacca! At least Yoda escaped. <sighs> Is he going to Dagobah now? Dude, I can't believe Anakin killed those kids. That was brutal. Dude, that was so sad. The whole montage of Executive Order 66. Shocks, what's gonna happen? I wanna see this. I saw Master Windu attempt to assassinate the Chancellor myself. Oh, Anakin. What are you gonna do? It's not the whole story, Anakin. Have faith, my love. Everything will soon be set right. She doesn't know the whole truth. The Chancellor has given me a very important mission. I feel bad for Padme because she doesn't really know the whole truth. Like, she just... But then at that, in that moment, of course, who else is she to believe but her husband? If Padme knew, though, she would not stand for it. When my new apprentice, Darth Vader, arrives, he will take care of you. He will not! He will kill all of them, you liar! <sighs> the Emperor is so evil! My god. I really like it every time I see R2-D2 pop out of his ship. Yo, Yoda is so good! Oh my god! Pammy, come on, I hope you can see right through it. Who? Who could have done this? Yo! On my life has left me scar. No! Yo, that was so badass. Oh my god, look at Anakin's eyes. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Lord Sibius! Those kids. The only one. Oh, shocks. If into the security I recordings you go, record. only pain will you find. Oh, Yoda already knew. He already knew. <gasps> he must have seen it while he was recalibrating everything. While Obi Wan was recalibrating. You have done well, my new apprentices. Now, Lord Vader, go and bring peace to the Empire. I can't watch anymore. When was the last time you saw him? Yesterday. Do you know where he is now? Oh, he told Batney. Nice. Padme. Palpatine is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. After the death of Count Dooku, Anakin became his new apprentice. Yes! I don't believe you. <gasps> Come on, Padme! Believe it! Oh, she still loves him. Obviously. <laughs> Anakin is the father, isn't he? <gasps> Oh, they didn't. They didn't tell Obi Wan. I thought Obi Wan knew because Obi Wan visited Padme before. It was like asking about Anakin. I mean, right? No survivors. <gasps> Obi Wan went in the ship. 
Oh, he snuck in the shoe! That's how you found Anakin. Here we go, Padme will confront Anakin. I'm actually, I really want to see what happens. This Padme can't stand for this. I mean, she can't really. She's always been about for justice. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I, I can overthrow him. And together, you and I can rule the galaxy. What? And that was the plan? He was even going to turn against the Chancellor? I don't believe what I'm hearing. Obi Wan was right. You've changed. You're breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't follow. Nice, Padme. Stand your ground. Because of what you've done. Stop now. Come back. I love you. Come on. Liar! Oh! What the heck? You brought him here to kill me. No. <gasps> Let her go, Anakin. Oh my uh, god. This oh. must be breaking her heart. She's so heartbroken. Nako, Anakin. You turned her against me. You have done that yourself. Exactly, exactly. You will not take her from me. Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. Yeah. If you're not with me. Then you're my enemy. Oh my God. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. This choreography is so good though. Yoda just slapped them to the side of the wall. Oh! Yoda couldn't. Oh my god, he didn't stop that! I thought he would have stopped that. Oh, good getting new fighting sequence. So good. The fighting choreography is so good, you guys. My little kid. Oh, he's awake. I have. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go, Master Yoda. <laughs> Oh, shocks! No, Anakin, no! <gasps> nice one, nice one, Obi Wan. That's gotta hurt! We have two epic battles happening simultaneously now. This is so good. Oh, Yoda is so good! So that's where the stand comes from. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. Oh, wow. Yo. Her Palpatine is so scary! I haven't been blinking my eyes, it's drying out. <laughs> wow, that was epic. Oh my god. 
Now he's gonna go to Dagoba. We don't know why. Why? We've lost the will to live. <gasps> we need to operate quickly if we are to save the babies. What? She wasn't even physically unwell? Oh my god. Oh, they're both in the hospital at the same time. He said, I don't. Luke. Oh, Luke. It's a girl. Oh, look at the got goosebumps. Yo. Oh my god. The breathing. <gasps> oh my god, why she died? She oh I mean I know oh she died of a broken heart. Where is Padme? <gasps> Killed her. I couldn't. I, I thought Emperor Papadi would say that Obi Wan killed her or something, but no! ah, he loves this. Oh, shucks. She will be loved with us. Oh. And what of the boy? I know she is. To Tatooine, to his family sent him. Master I didn't Nova, know Pammy died of a broken heart. 
one who has returned from the netherworld of the Force, your old master, Qui-Gon. <gasps> Qui-Gon? How to commune with him. What? Droid's mind wiped. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's why he never remembered Luke. Uh, he, um, he never remembered Obi-Wan and Anakin, not Luke. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the trinket that Anakin gave her. That's the Death Star. It's Alderaan. Sunset. I didn't know that they were looking at the twin sunset too when they got Luke. That's so poetic. I can't get over how bad we just died because of a broken heart. There was nothing even physically wrong with her. Goodness gracious. Let me get it. Tension. That's so sad. It's like such a sad, tragic love story. I actually thought that... I, I actually thought that when um, Anakin uh, choked her, that she died because of a complication from the choke as well, which, is, which might be silly in hindsight, but... I thought that was the reason, but it seems like the droid said so himself that there was nothing wrong with her physically, but she was dying, and it's because she had no will to live. Maybe because of Anakin. She's brokenhearted that Anakin went to the dark side. I mean, she. what I like, though, is that she stood her ground. She told Anakin that, I can't go down that road. That's evil. But at the same time, you could see how heartbroken she was because she didn't want Anakin to go to the dark side. Oh, I feel so sad for Padme. But also, I feel so sad for Anakin. Because can you imagine? He was there, He's basically the reason why Padme died. Oh, if he didn't go to the dark side. That was brand new information for me. But oh my god, can I just talk about that very last clip, that very last scene where Luke, Luke's aunt and uncle got him and they were, when they got him, they were literally looking at the sunset. That's like, what? They didn't know that. And that, I found that very poetic because like in episode four, we also saw Luke look into the sunset thinking that there's more to him, there's more to his life than being on this farm. And even in episode two, we saw Anakin driving with the sunset on his way to save his mother. Like, I don't know, the twin sunset was just really, it's very iconic in the Star Wars universe for us. Oh my god, I did I just realized my dogs stuck, my dogs stuck themselves in. What the heck? Oh, I feel so sad for Padme. Really, I, 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 I do. Can you imagine if Anakin didn't go to the dark side? Padme would still be alive. I know. I'm glad they showed us that they started building a Death Star, though. At the very end. Man. Very sad. Very sad for Padme. Now I know why a lot of people have, have this as their favorite movie as well. It's actually, it's really good. It was a really good movie. We saw everything from Order 66, from when Anakin turned to the dark side, from Luke and Leia being born. So many iconic moments in this movie, actually, now that I, now that I think about it. But 
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Truly a masterpiece, Star Wars is. I love Star Wars, it's amazing. And, hi, Naha. So good, so good. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I really do wanna hear your thoughts about Star Wars. I mean, you guys probably already seen this, but still, I wanna hear your thoughts about it. Any, anything. Let's talk about Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. May the force be with you. <laughs> oh my god, bad me, talaga! I'm so hard, bro. God, I can't get over how good that movie is. I mean, that final, that last lightsaber battle was so good. So good! I did not know that basically he, his Anakin's legs got cut off. That's how he lost. I honestly thought he slipped and that's why he fell into the lava. Shut up! But still, I can't get over how Padme died of a broken heart. Anakin was so cocky as well when he thought he could beat Obi-Wan even though he didn't have the high ground. Like, that's just silly. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. That scene actually was just so heavy. It was also so sad when Obi-Wan said you were the chosen one. Like you could sense how hurt he really was. He was so hurt and then he even said I love you like a brother.